when Mike first approached me about photographing the Vader ad, he and I had already worked together several times this year, and um, I would become very close with a lot of his students. So I knew that when we were developing the concept that it had to include students from Mike'sLessons.com. So knowing that we wanted to include the students in the ad, and also knowing that Mike has students all over the world and having them all local wouldn't be possible for one shot, we took it to the next level and thought, what if we did a gallery of a group of students? So the first thing we had to do was figure out how many students can we fit in this ad. We want to get as many as possible. To do that, we had to find a location. So we went scouting locations in Old Town Folsom, found the parking garage, and it had this wall that just seemed perfect for it. So we kind of measured it all out, mapped it all out, and we knew that we could fit about 75 to 80 students. So then we had to go kind of contact students, and we started with our campers, and then kind of brought that out to a little bit of the Mike's Lessons family and said, okay, you have one day to create your own Vader ad, get it in, and then we have to cut it off at 75. That part was definitely the hardest part for me. I would love to have everyone from the Mike's Lessons family in this ad, but we just didn't have room for it. So we got all the pictures we needed, and from there, it just became a thing of printing them out, finding the right size for each picture, and then getting them up on the wall. So over the course of gathering the pictures and creating the look and putting the pictures up on the wall, as I'm going through each picture, I'm seeing friends that I've made over the last six, eight months who are very close to me, and I just, with every picture, I'm looking at them and thinking, oh gosh, He's so great, oh man, I love her so much. So the day of the shoot, I came down into the parking garage and Lauren had already been putting up the pictures. And to walk into the parking garage and just see this wall of former campers and Mike'sLessons.com students all together, close together. People that have never met each other and may never ever meet each other. But they were all this family, you know, and they all had their Vader sticks and they'd all created ads. Some were copying ads that Vader had done years ago and some were creating new poses. And it was just so cool, because I could see in their face, they knew they were gonna be featured you know, in Modern Drummer or Drum Magazine, and they were, they were so excited to do this. So that was just, that was heaven for me as an instructor, to know that my students were gonna be featured in an ad in one of our biggest drum magazines. So when it came to shooting the ad, you know, we tried a bunch of different things, standing, sitting, staring at the camera, not staring at the camera, and honestly, once Lauren started asking me about the students and talking to me about the memories that we had created with these students through the drum camps and the, you know, she had shot the drum camps previously, it was, you know, you just start smiling so bright and then she takes a picture and that becomes the shot. And it was really fun to just see how everybody came together as a family in this to create something so much bigger than just an ad. Because really, it's not just an ad, it's an expression of what this community is, what the Mike'sLessons.com family really is, and it's people being next to each other without ever actually being next to each other. And that's what's really cool is, um, is the ad is an absolute expression of what this entire community is.